Welcome, welcome, one and all, to our third round of Tomo's Galactic Games. And today we have Delara's run. Interesting little team we got coming up here. A few troopers, and then the Toy Fighter pilot, and finally Darth Maul. Not quite sure what Darth Maul's doing in there. I think he's just there to sort of intimidate the opposition. But nonetheless, it's going to be an interesting little team. And the big question is going to be how long can Shore Trooper last? Because he's going to be taunting, 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 almost the old time. Which means he might die first. And I think once he's gone, this team's going to struggle. But look at that, it's a lot of DPS, which I like. I mean, yesterday's run was very impressive with those Jedi. But look at that. Look at that speed. I like that a lot. Oh, he much prefers that to a team that's all careful and, oh, no, I've got to revive. Oh, no, I've got to heal. No, 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 no. Bang, bang, bang. Knock him over. Oh, my. There's a green in this one. I don't think we've seen any greens before now. But, you know, it's all right. Let's see what happens. Uh, oops, same squad, same squad. No one's died. All the mods have been removed, don't you worry. So you'll probably never see Darth Maul taking a turn. He's got the speed of a... Sleeping snail. Oh my. Three of these lot don't even have protection. It's a doddle. Look at that. Oh, I like that. And I like the way that these uh, Imperial Troopers turn me to load themselves at the end of every battle. So the next battle, they're ready to go, 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 go. So quick reminder in... Oh, this is a bit of a better team. In Grimm's run, he, he lost his first chappy. On node 5, I think it was. So, if Delara can go a bit further, it should be bodes well. Bodes well for these Imperial Dark Side chaps. But, uh, this could be a small... I doubt it. But it might be a small test. Oh, look at that. Nihilus immediately gone. Five's not happy. He's... Oh, no, he won't be able to fight back anymore. No, oh, God, he's gone anyway. I was going to say the days was going to stop those counters, but being dead also stops him. Well, so far so good. The sure DPS of these troopers is just blowing away all this opposition. I suppose he's been helped by the opposition being a bit on the pants side. What's this? Oh, the old Jedi Consular lead. Everyone knows that's super strong. I don't think he's even got a lead. Here we go. So, so far so good. And if this carries on, he might even be getting the whole way in very fast. You know, if he does happen to have a toy break situation, I can see that this team is going to be fast enough that it will probably win, because of course the uh, decider is based on speed of getting through everything. So, you know, if it ties, whether it's a clear or something else, I think it's going to have a good chance of being a quick one. But look at that, I don't think it's even taken a hit yet. Ring four, and I don't think the opposition has taken a shot. And that's something remarkable. Shows how important turn meter gain is. Which could be another good sign for JTR, who's coming up in PG 99's turn in a couple of days. I don't think this one's going to have any troubles for, for Delara or neither. Looks like a simple one. There we go. Auto it up. Yeah, I suppose if Asajj gets a turn, she might do some damage. Nope, nope, none of that. Well, there we go. Node 5, and as I said, I think Node 5 was where Grim lost the beam. But I don't think Delara's taken a single hit. Could this be a bit of a sleeper hit? The one that we were all discounting somewhat and even taking the mickey out of. But it's going to steam its way through. Well, here we go. Here's the test. Bubble Fat lead with a couple of DPSers and even a bit of Dooku in there. Might do something interesting. Probably not. The thing is, this lot all have their turn meter so loaded. Look, I'll just pause here. Almost the entire team has almost full turn meter and the em enemies on nothing. And that just allows them to blast down. Oh, there we go, taking a couple of hits. I uh, know we might get something going on. Ability blocked. Oh, and there's good old Geonosian soldier. He's a very good chap, that. Everyone will be proud to have him on their team. So they took out Django. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Toy Fighter Pilot and Veers are both looking a bit wibbly wobbly. Ah, uh, Shore Trooper there, coming through. That's going to be the solid for him, is how long can Shore Trooper last? Because if he taunt it up and keep them all safe, they've got a good old chance. 
But that was a little bit airy. First time they've taken any hits, and they nearly lost both Toy Fighter Pilot and General Veers. So Node 6, starting to get a bit spicy. Let's see what, oh gosh. I don't think this one's going to be as much trouble. The old Mace Window. We all know how he died. He went flying out the window. Right, what well, we, what are we gonna have here? I can't remember if they had full turn meter again. Yeah, we got pretty much full turn meter on this Empire Sith team. Mace is gone immediately. Bubble Fett gone soon after. Bit of healing. Of course, the Toy Fighter pilot's not gaining from that, so uh, he could be the weak link. He could be the first one to go if someone can breeze through all Shore Troopers taunt. We grew up very near somewhere called Tauntaun, so that's very taunty. Oh, more mace lead. Does everyone put mace in their lead when they're in a newbie sort of frame of mind, I wonder? And if so, why? I thought it was all Phoenix, everyone tells us. Phoenix, 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 everyone's got to take when they're in the early stages of their account. But we ain't seen a lot of it. Saw a little bit yesterday against Revan, not that it did him much good. Here we go. This lot got a little bit more... Uh, Tankiness in the previous lot, so they might get a turn, you never know. Well, they got one turn there. Yeah, lovely. Oh, Tarlier got a turn, but she completely wasted. So we got one hit on Short Trooper in all of that one. It's looking good, to be honest. But I think as soon as they hit something that they can't blast over very quickly, they suffer like they did on Node 6. So Node 9 could be interesting if it's a decent team. Here we go, here's the Phoenixes. Now is when we could be seeing some are interesting. But that said, do the Phoenixes have the DPS to go through Shore Trooper? I can't remember. There's probably a little gap when you don't have Taunt. And if they go for someone like Toy Fighter Pilot in that gap, there's a chance they could do something interesting. Well, of course, they got all the counterattacks. No, they haven't, because Darth Maul says no. The other thing that we help them here, yeah, is Ezra clearing off that Taunt. Now they've got, got into the juicy, squishy bits. Toy Fighter Pilot's looking dangerous there. If they hit him again, he could be over. Ah, there goes Shore Trooper saying, no need to worry, mateys. I got this. Ah, but there goes his taunt again. Phoenix still want to get rid of him. That's better focus on the Toy Fighter Pilot. Oh, he's dodging. He's dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. That's what they always say. And Toy Fighter Pilot was doing it for a while, but he's had enough. So let's see what's going to happen now. We got interesting. Oh, snow troopers gone. I that might be it. I think Delara that node nine might be your limit. Yeah, short trooper, you can get a bit more up, but I think that this might be done. Put a fork in you. You're toast. There we go. Bang bang. At least it's a nice quick show, as I've said. I like that. So good props for that, Delara. You got a team that just gets on with the job, not as fanning around. But let's be honest, Veers and Maul, not exactly a match made in heaven. Node 9, it's decent, decent, but last so far of course, last, but decent nonetheless. So uh, well done, good show. And tomorrow I think we've got, uh, is it Oi Dyer who's going to come in with his team of rebels. So uh, see you all then.